Let's see what's coming your way. Let's see what we need to pay attention to. But we start with the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one, the one coming your way, the one that's hidden. And we need to look for, and guess what? We have the death in reverse, might be Scorpio energy. But this is some finished business and the Ace of Swords, some communication. And it's so interesting, right? It is intended for people who don't connect with someone and yet we still have baggage. Um, the death in reverse is the energy of a connection that didn't um, end properly. This is a cycle that is not um, closed just yet. And Ace of Swords, we might have communication about, we'll see, can be the energy of awakening and, um, and knowing what's going on, having a plan about it. So, past energies, we do have the Two of Swords, we have the Temperance in Reverse, can be a Sagittarius you are dealing with, Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Hermit, oh I love this. High Priestess in Reverse, Pisces Cancer Energy, we do have the Hierophant in Reverse, Nine of Wands in Reverse, oh, I know, and the Fool in Reverse. <laughs> it's, um... It is the energy of dropping someone in the recent past, probably um, it's not that long ago. Um, we do have new beginnings, there is no doubt, um, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, but it has this energy of letting go of someone. It looks like a marriage, um, can be a connection just as uh, simple as a, a relationship where two people live together. The Hierophant is a pretty serious connection, so... Um, and um, it looks like it went out of balance, temperance. It looks like someone was all impulsive and foolish and behaving like a child. Uh, it has this energy of lack of responsibility, improper communication, silences, uh, thinking and not sharing. Um, you know, uh, you name it. It's all here. Not paying attention to your needs. And it's interesting, Four of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Wands in reverse by excellence is the energy where the other person is not realizing that they are hurting the other person. They were not paying attention to what's going on. Therefore, they didn't see they hurt you in, um, in, in a way or other. We do have Virgo energy, but it mainly feels like somebody got wise and said, you know what, I'm out. Um, might have been an abrupt out, but in the same time it was a, a wise one. The Hermit is the energy of a soul journey, of an awakening, of, um, you know, learning the, the past lessons and seeing, actually shining a light on a situation that was uh, foolish, irresponsible, and in so many ways not um, what you needed. And I say that because you have, we just started the reading and we have two Wits and Smarts card. One is the Ace of Swords and one is the Hermit. So somebody really got smart after after this at some point, you know, put some boundaries and said, and probably this is you, Pisces, where, you know, um, you took matters in your own hand. This is how it feels, uh, the reading so far. So where are we right now? We do have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Swords, I love this. A little bit impulsive, but still. King of Cups, still you. The Emperor, Aries energy. Strength, Leo energy. Two of Swords again, we are still thinking. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I know, we are letting go, don't we? Beautiful. I'm going to start with your energy, King of Cups. This is showing up with royal energy, right? This is showing up with, I'm in control. I know what I need to be doing. I'm happy with where I am emotionally. And we have you about to let go of a partnership that is probably, again, was, um, was something that, um, you know, it was not for you. And it's interesting because it, it, is, it is connected to now I know better, I am taking action, Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a lot of action and Two of Swords is a lot of thinking. And you also have it in the past, so you gave it a thought and it probably is like, you know, going for a while with this feeling that this connection is just inappropriate and it's not something and it's not going to last. It has this 
it has this energy of you observing the other person being impulsive, being a little bit reckless, lacking wisdom and saying, mm, maybe I need to be someplace else. And we, we have you right now really detaching. That's beautiful things to see. Um, a lot of thought, but in the same time, your energy shows as the King of Cups, which is beautiful. It's a combination of mind and soul. We do have the strength, which is the energy of you being on your best behavior. And it is the energy of staying strong in a situation that doesn't make sense. And in control and having a plan and doing the work. Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. For some of you, might be someone from work. Um, can be an Aries showing up in your life. And um, now we have you contemplating eventually a new beginning. Ace of Swords with the Emperor. Can be somebody older than you. Somebody in a position of power. Uh, more abundant than you are. Um, can also be a same um, sex relationship here and connection the emperor with the king of cups doesn't have to be it uh, we all have masculine and feminine energies by and the knight of swords but i feel it's um we are contemplating a new beginning taking action doing the work and uh, living the past in the past right so let's see the energy coming your way and we do have eight of swords Four of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse. We have Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Fool in reverse again, and the Six of Cups, the only card I don't read in reverse. And I love this even more, this is the Ace of Wands. Honestly, Pisces, I, I, I don't see you. Uh, well, first of all, I see you doing the work and probably you are very focused on work right now. Um, Two of Pentacles is really trying to keep everything together. And we also have you in the Eight of Swords energy. You are still bound to a past connection. They still show up. We are still not done with it, but we are on your way. You are on your path. We do have the Eight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is letting go of something that you once, um, you know, held dear to your to your heart. And what we leave behind, again, this impulsive, reckless energy, Four of Cups and the Fool in Reverse. We leave behind someone who simply was not seeing us. Six of Cups, Eight of Wands, memories from the past, longing for reconciliation. <clears throat> I love the practicality of it. You, you do what you need to be doing. And we still have you connected here. And you have two energies saying a new beginning is coming. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is in reverse. It's like you're pushing that new beginning away till we uh, deal with unfinished business. And you know what? Sometimes I feel that some things, um, you know, might have to, um, to be left unfinished or unsaid and, or, and undone and just, um, you know, move on. And I feel this is exactly what's going on. That is a new beginning knocking at your door, but we are still busy with the past over here. For some of you. Still wanting to take action. And it, it has the ambivalence of, I will take action with the Knight of Swords. And then the energy of reminiscent about the past. I will walk away, at least emotionally. I will detach slowly and focus on work. But then, you know, emotions from the past come back. So let's ask for some guidance here. I know the choice is yours, right? Uh, Pisces, you're, the choice is really yours at, at this point. And it is about taking control and having a plan. It is about staying strong, active. Um you know, action, actually not active, but um, active approach, action. What do we need to know? We need to forgive them, Pisces. Maybe this this is what prevents you from uh, moving on and moving forward is this sense of, you know, let's forgive and forget. Boundaries. So we... Um, I don't know if they are still in your environment, this person, uh, all the signs show up upright, which might indicate that actually you might be working with them. They might be, you know, in your place of business or in a partnership of some sort. And uh, the guidance we receive, let's put some boundaries and let's be wise about 
this is a situation um, at some point with a full in reverse I'm not surprised twice I'm not surprised that the matur maturity came twice so we, we need to really be wise about someone we connect with Pisces and the gardener right nurture yourself nurture your world your inner world your inner child you name it and bottom of the deck ask for help what do you really need be willing to accept support so the universe is saying no to the past if you ask me and you are actually guided to put some boundaries and um, take care of yourself and ask for help if you feel um, that you are overwhelmed by what's going on here energy is way put back into the flow or release definitely releasing envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges and uh, it comes with forgiveness and i kind of feel i don't think this is about envy but maybe this is um you know the grudge that we might um, be still holding on to this might be the energy where you know it's still in your energy and it prevents you from moving forward and being um you know the best version of yourself here it's interesting envy and judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so i was trying to say it's not envy might be a grudge and the universe is saying no 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 we are making a judgment we are drawing fast quick conclusions to a situation so i am the same as everybody but with different challenges so we are equal right and then the universe says again no <laughs> they all have their unique path and challenges it's just we have different people but the same empathy hmm we might be holding a grudge here and maybe we are judging them i don't know you let me know if i say it it feels like you know we we are still in the past and so empathy you feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love you are asked to put empathy back into the flow not judge them you know see yourself there equal and past yeah leave the past in the past through the power of love you release any stagnant situation or energy in order to transform your heart space and surrender to non-action now is the time to stay still and not act simply breathe and focus on your own power let others come to you so we have some healing here Pisces there is no doubt we have some healing and we have so many energies that we need to drop energies of guilt of um you know um of pain of past bad communication over here a bond that you might be seeing as as actually better than it was that's the energy of the six of cups right this is the pink glasses um so hey Pisces, this is all that i have should i look into roman i don't know i feel like called to have roman angels i i wonder why let me see how many are we going to have oh religious factors your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. We do have release your ex. You have release your ex and religious factors. The whole reading is about releasing. And, um, and new beginnings, allowing new beginnings here. So Pisces, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay strong. Please stay safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.